Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at error bar limit selection with matplotlib. Let's get started. So to start off, let's go on and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We're also going to import numpy as np. Now, the reason that we're going to be talking about this error bar limit is because I've seen a lot of examples in the past where we've people want to show error but they just don't have the the tools in which they do it at their disposal. A lot of times we'll maybe do something like um, a band, okay? And we'll do, we'll do that in another video. But today we're going to be looking at a couple different ways that we can use uh, matplotlib to show our, um, our error bars. So first off, let's go on and create up some data. So let's say x here is going to be mp dot a range. Um, let's say of 10, and then y here is going to be something like 2.5 multiplied by np dot sine here of x divided by 20 um, multiplied by pi. Um, and then we'll give our errors. So and this will be just a y error of np line space here, um, and we want 0, 0, 5, uh, 0.2, and 10. Um, and let's go on and let that be our data. So let's go on and start up a, a nice plot here. Um, and let's say that, let's, let's just talk about each of the types of limits, okay? So we can do, um, uh, maybe, you know what, maybe let me just, um, uh, start out with the figure here. So plt dot uh, uh, figure, uh, and then we'll do something like, um, you know, maybe let's make this a little big. So uh, fig so size here, let's make it a 10 by 10. Uh, and then let's go on and actually start this out. So plt dot error bar. Okay, so we can actually call out the error bar here. And we'll do x, y, and we want to um, make three of these, okay? So plus three, so that we'll kind of, or maybe four of these, so it'll have like a zero, one, two, three. So there'll be several of them there. Okay, uh, so our y error here is gonna be y error. Uh, and then our label will be um, uh, both limits. Okay, uh, and this is um, this is the default. Okay, uh, and then let's go on and do another one here. Plt dot error bar. Uh, we'll do x y plus two. Uh, y error is y is equal to y error. Uh, label here would be uh, let's do um, up limbs, so this is the upper limit, okay? Uh, and we're going to basically set it to true, all right? And so we'll go on and do that here and do something like uh, up limbs true, okay? Uh, then we can do, you know what? I'm gonna, getting tired of doing this. We're gonna copy the whole thing. Uh, and instead of two, we'll do one here. Uh, and then instead of the up limit, we want the, um, what do we want to do here? The up limit and the lower limit. Okay, so up limb true, lower limbs is equal to true. Uh, and I will start a new line here. Okay, and then so this would be uh, lower limb is true as well. Um, and then let's see what else we want to do here. We'll do something like um, what? Uh, upper limits is equal to here true false uh, multiplied by five. And so this will be basically what this does is this is going to be alternating uh, true false true false. So we'll get uh, different uh, limits going throughout. And then we'll do another one here of lower limits is equal to something like a false true uh, multiplied by five. Uh, so then we'll get uh, multiple error bars, 
Okay, so let's do something like um, uh, plt dot error bar here, and we want x y y error is equal to y error. Um, upper limit is this upper limits. Lower limbs is lower limits. Um, and then our label here will be a uh, subsets of up limbs and and low limbs. Okay, and then let's give us a nice legend here in our location. Um, here will be a lower right. Okay, and let's take a look here. So as we can see, here we have, I don't know, maybe go out one more. So as we can see here that we have our, um, just our normal error bar, this is the default here, okay? So then uh, we also have the upper limits. We have uh, both the upper and lower limits here. And then we have this uh, just subset, okay? So it's basically gonna be alternating the limits. All right, so uh, we can also do this um, using a, another example, okay? So this is this here is using the Y limits. Okay, so maybe you want to do something very similar and do the X limits, okay? So let's go on and do that as well. So, um, Let's start out with some new data here. So let's do MP dot a range of 10. Uh, let's divide that out by 10. Y is equal to X plus 0 0.1 uh, squared. Uh, and then we'll leave our, um, what do we want to do with this? Let's actually do what? Let's maybe do uh, Y one here is something like, um, you know, let's copy this. Uh, whoops. Uh, so uh, Y three, four, um, I think that'll be fine. So let's actually call this uh, Y not Y one, Y two, um, and then let's go on and uh, create up some of our error bars here. So let's do uh, plt dot error bar uh, x y uh, x error here is going to be zero point one. X uh, of the lower limit here is going to be true label, let's say x lower limits is equal to true. Uh, then we'll do plt dot error bar x, oh, and this is, this is y not. Um, x, y1, uh, x, let's copy all that for now. Um, we have our x lower uh, limit here, and let's do uh, let's use our variables from before this upper limits, uh, and then we'll also do um, the uh, x lower limbs. Oh, wait, we already did the lower limbs, so let's do this one. Let's do. Uh, as lower limits, and then we'll have x up limbs is going to be upper limits. And we need to go on and change this to, let's do, let's move it over. So plus, um, plus what? A 0 0.6. Uh, so it moves it over to the right a little bit. Um, and then we need a a good label here. So um, this one is going to be the subsets. Uh, subsets of x uh, upper limit 
and x lower limits. Uh, and then we'll do another one here. And this one will be something like, um, let's move it over. So double this. So 1.2. Uh, this will be 2. The error is still going to be 1 tenth. Uh, x upper limit. Uh, let me just delete all that, I guess. So x upper limit will be true. Um, yeah, because we did a lower limit. Now we have an upper limit. So here will be uh, x upper limits is equal to true. Mm. And then plt dot uh, legend, uh, and we'll do uh, location is upper left. Let's take a look at that. And uh, you know what? Let's actually do uh, figure is equal to plt dot figure fi uh, fig size, and let's do another. Uh, 10 by 10. There we go. So now we can see that we can also put in our error bars on the x axis as well. Uh, so again, there are different ways to visualize your errors. Okay, so just always take that into consideration whenever you're trying to tell your story and um, really utilize these visualizations to the best of your ability. If you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.